Hello everyone, my name is Jessica, aka Animated Jess. In this video, I will show you how to make your own collection on OpenSea so you'll be able to mint your own NFTs to sell to others on the platform. Before we get started though, please give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I make another video just like this. Okay, so first things first, to create a collection, you will need MetaMask, and I do have a video tutorial of how to get MetaMask, which is a crypto wallet, and I will explain everything that you need to know about it in the video, which will be linked within this video and below as well. And if you want to make any kind of NFTs on this platform, you will need to have a collection, so you do need to do that first. So once you're logged in, you can uh, scroll over your icon and then click on my collections. And then here you can click on create a collection. And here you will be asked to provide a logo image. Um, so here I'm going to show you how, um, how I go about making my own collection actually called Zero Origins. Um, so I already have everything prepared ahead of time. So you know, here's the logo. Um, it did fit kind of weird, so I did uh, make a slight adjustment. And then I also chose a featured image. Um, and like they said, this will be, you know, in case your collection is featured on a homepage or something. Um, then the banner image as well. And yeah, um, this is optional, but it is, you know, good to have. Um, and then here you will write the name of your collection. So for mine, like I said, I'm calling it Zero Origins. And you do get to choose a custom URL as well, which is really nice. Um, and all these things are editable, um, editable, um, <laughs> not edible. Um, and you'll be able to come back and make any changes that you need later on. Um, I think there may be uh, a couple of things that you may not be able to change i think like the default um the default payment um currency for instance i think you can't change that but for the most part like all these all this information you'll be able to change later on so here i'm just entering all my links my socials and my portfolio and things like that um and yeah so you don't have to fill out all of them just you know whatever whatever it is that you have and yeah so i did my portfolio twitter and instagram and then below this is the royalty fee and this is how much you will get back in percentage every time someone sells um or rather resells your work i put 10 percent for mine which is um, I think yeah, the standard is about between five to ten percent. I think for artists, um, and then I put my own address, which I do have an Ethereum um, name service register. So I just put that, which is linked to my Ethereum address. But you can put your your actual address, not just an ENS. And then here, these are like all the different cryptocurrencies that will be accepted as payment i just left the default but you can add more um, if you would like and this is something you can add later on as well and then this is a display theme i decided to go with the default and clicked on create and here you will need to sign pretty much for most of the things that you will do related to nfts you will have to sign um, for these things you do not need to pay um but for some some things you will you will need to pay um like you know for instance buying nfts you will have to like pay for like the gas fees and things like that um so here i did make a little bit more edits as well um just because you know things looked a little bit odd i had like this png image and and decided to make it into a JPEG. Um, so yeah, so it's really nice that you're, you're able to, you know, just go back and make the changes that you need. So, um, so this is what I did here. I chose um, JPEG instead, and I thought that that fit a little 
better and also um, I changed the banner to also fit better um, I think yeah within the within the container um, as you can see all those things are still editable and I did forget to mention you can add a collaborator if you need if you need to if you're working with someone else let's say so yeah so um, creating a collection you do not need to pay for it though um, I do believe that for OpenSea like for the first um, for the first item that you put up you do have to pay a gas fee but after that you do not have to um, you do not have to pay in gas fees anymore for for the rest of the the um, NFTs that you you want to mint uh, which is really nice because I think for other for other platforms it's not quite the case um, so here I am creating a new item so this is going to be the NFT I decided to start with the video um, and um, since you know my NFT here is not a static image I had to add a preview image so I dragged one in and then added a name as well um, and you know if you want you can add an external link that provides you know details you know to this image um, and all these things once again are editable um, but you can choose to freeze this information below if you like um, and so that will actually you know put all this information in decentralized um, storage um, making it you know truly um, yeah truly decentralized um, more of a I guess you know ideal um, in the NFT space but you don't have to do that if you don't want to you can keep it editable um, so here I'm adding a property and for properties you can add anything so I just added what kind of image type it is um, and and I create, I click on create. Um, you can choose a different blockchain, but I just chose Ethereum because that's the most common and popular one. All right, so I do quickly want to go over the gas fees um, on OpenSea. Um, and um, I, I will not be going through this in depth. There's just a couple of things that I wanted to point out. Um, there are certain things that you have to pay um, you know, recurring number of times or one-time fees, and there are some um, actions that are gas-free. And just in case you don't know, gas is basically like the cost of like doing uh, or a, a transaction um, on the on the blockchain. Um, and so here on OpenSea, you do have to pay um, a account initialization fee before you can list on Ethereum. Um, but after that, like you can uh, list and you know mint NFTs like without cost. Um, then there's um, you know a few other things here that you do have to be mindful of. Um, so here, um, recurring fees, accepting an offer, transferring and gifting an NFT to someone, buying an NFT, canceling a list NFT, um, and all that. I will list these things um, below so you can read it on your own more in depth like i said just wanted to touch um on a few things um and there's you know plenty of gas reactions here um you know minting new nft k lazy minting like i said you can you know click here to read more about all these things creating collection listing nft at a fixed price listing nft as auction reducing the price of an nft you've listed so yeah these are some things that you may want to really like read up on just so that you're not surprised by any fees okay so here we are with the created um, nft and it is ready to be sold now so we can just click on the top right corner where it says sell and here you will be able to choose how much you want to sell it for you can choose to sell it in ethereum or something else and here you can add an ending price and there's a couple of advantages to do that one you can 
at a lower ending price in case you wanted to go down over time. And two, um, after a while of, um, let's say you pick three days, right? Like the listing will no longer be up. Um, and it's beneficial because um, if you don't have an ending price, if you do want to take a listing down, then you will have to pay a gas fee for it. I did not want to include an ending price, so I just took that part off. You can choose to schedule for a future time. I also did not want to do that. And you can change the privacy as well. Um, so I liked, you know, how everything looks. So I just click post your listing and clicked on sign as always and that's it um, my item is up for sale which it is still up for sale in case you uh, want to buy at least at the time of me making this video um and yeah then that's it um that is how you are able to mint your work and then post it on OpenSea. once again if you found this video helpful please hit like subscribe and let me know in the comments below what NFT project you're working on. And if you're interested in buying Zero Origins, the link is in the description below. Till next time, bye.